Auckland's Radio. Good afternoon, Trisha Wolfrey. Hello. Um, Trisha is an integrative coach, therapist, author and trainer best, based in Byfleet Village and with a practice in Harley Street, London. And Trisha's going to talk to us today about integrative hypnotherapy, fact and fiction. So Trisha, tell us a little bit about what integrative hypnotherapy is and how you got into it. Um, it's actually a term that I coined myself. Uh, I became a hypnotherapist about 18 years ago and it's really effective for helping people to achieve change in their lives however I was realizing with some of my clients that there was another dimension involved in change which I wasn't able to help with and that is the uh, the health side of things so for example my weight loss clients or IBS clients or depression clients sometimes it was more to do with their lifestyle and health and what they ate and what they didn't eat that was also affecting them so I became a nutritionist as well so I integrate uh, mind and body um, Integrative hypnotherapy is also about integrating other methods into my treatment plan with somebody. So whoever comes to see me, I have a variety of tools available, hypnotherapy obviously, and actually various types of hypnotherapy from the simplest type, uh, which is suggestion, which most hypnotherapists use. But I also have some very advanced hypnotherapy techniques as well. I use psychotherapy, uh, I use uh, bioenergetics, nutrition I've already mentioned, and also neurolinguistic programming. So I just blend uh, according to whatever that person needs or what I think they will respond best to. Integrative hypnotherapy also refers to integrating the whole person. So a lot of people struggle with change. So they only come to see me because they're struggling on their own. And often the struggle is because they they have a part of them that wants the change, but they have a part of them that is resisting. It's this self-sabotage. Mm. And so one of the things that I do is help to integrate those parts of the self so that they're uh, working together to achieve what is best for that individual so that's what I call integrative hypnotherapy oh that sounds amazing because I think you're absolutely right sometimes we need a blend of things yeah and so often a health related issue is so linked to mindset as well as lifestyle absolutely yeah yeah mm. so you know, if you're stressed it can affect your health mm. uh, and if you're ill it can create stress and affect you in your everyday life so since I've been doing this for, uh, I think, about eight years now, it's made a big difference to a lot of my clients. So I don't use it with everybody because if it's not appropriate, then mm. it wouldn't be appropriate. Mm. Uh, but I do use it with a lot of people. It makes a big difference. Mm. Okay. And how did you get into all of that? Uh, well, hypnotherapy I got into, I was uh, an HR director for a company and I enrolled on an NLP course, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And in that, they teach you hypnotic language. Mm. And I was fascinated by it and decided to train as a hypnotherapist and psychotherapist. And so that's how I got into it. And then the uh, nutrition I've mentioned, which is really seeing that there was more to somebody being their best self than mm. just the psychological aspect or their mental health. Mm. Okay, that's great. Um, now tell us a little bit about some of the programs and the specialities that you have that you offer to people. Uh, well, I run a variety of training courses. One that I run that uh, is really popular is called Stress and the Five Pillars. Uh, that goes really well, and it's really looking at uh, the psychology of stress, how uh, emotionally you respond to it. It looks at lifestyle, looks at the, uh, the body, so how your body reacts to it. Um, and also it looks at the spiritual elements, which is not spiritual as in a religious sense in any way, but to do with having purpose and meaning. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are stuck because they, they don't really know what, what they're supposed to be doing with their lives. Uh, so that talk goes really, really well. I specialize, I would say, in stress. Most people uh, are, are very stressed these mm -hmm. days. Uh, energy, uh, so dealing with people that are tired all the time. I do a lot of weight loss. Uh, and my weight loss is very holistic, so it's looking at the whole person. I've got 57 reasons why somebody may not be losing weight, mm -hmm. so I tackle all of those. Um, I love doing anger management for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that's a really nice one to do because I think 
it's not as bad as people think mm-hmm. and it's easier to overcome it than people think as well. Um, I think that's it. Mm. Yeah, well, no, IBS, that's another oh, one. Yes. That's very mind and body. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that works really well. An incredible range. That's, that's, uh, yeah. And so many of those, I agree with you, can affect your life so much. Even something as simple as IBS or ap- apparently as simple as IBS yeah. can so dramatically affect your life yeah. and stop people from really going out and doing what they want to do. Well, this is what happens. So th- the longer somebody leaves it, the more housebound they become. Mm. So I've had some people with real difficulty. Um, it's affected their job it's affected them taking a promotion or not Mm. um but it works really really well so it might be a physical thing with the foods that they eat but often i find that it's a blend of uh the health factors and the psychology the Mm. emotions so usually a a good question to ask yourself is is this worse when i'm stressed if the answer is yes you know that you need some hypnotherapy or or coaching around it as well yeah and i think with with something like that although it could start off being a physical thing you could then get a real emotional side to it because you're frightened to go out because of the, the whole side effects of the yeah. symptoms itself and it can affect so i've mentioned work it can yeah. affect relationships because yeah. partners may not be very tolerant to you saying well I, you know i can't go out today mm. um so th- that can create a lot of strain as well mm. okay and and obviously big big subjects today are things like weight loss mm. um and not knowing not really knowing what you're here for i think so many people almost drift through life mm. and they don't really know what their purpose is exactly um, they get up go to work come home watch tv yeah. and start again the next day yeah and i think some people are frightened by the idea of purpose it doesn't have to be something uh or inspiring mm. it could be just to create a happy family yeah uh, when I say just, that's minimising it. But, it, it, you know, if that's what's going to make you happy and feel that you've lived a good life, then that's good enough for, for that person. Yeah. For other people, uh, it'll be something else. So it, it has to be a purpose that is right for you. And when you get to the end of your life, you, thought, you think, yes, that was a life well lived. Yeah. That's the thing. No, that's that's really interesting, really, really interesting. So um, you've written some self-help books as well, and, and you have CDs and things available for people. Mm-hmm. Tell us about some of the books that you've written. Uh, the first one I wrote was called 21 Ways and 21 Days to the Life You Want. Um, the principle is that you can create change in 21 days. And so it's a workbook that helps you to uh, create the change that you want uh, by focusing on that and dealing and dealing with 21 different subjects is going to help support you in that so it's quite a neat book it's also good as a journal Mm. Uh, so sometimes I give that to my clients uh, to help support their change Uh, another one is think positive and feel good so a lot of people who are depressed some of that is down to the, their thinking patterns. Mm. So we can change the way we feel by simply changing the way we think. And that is both simple and difficult. Uh, mm. So it's not so easy, but I, I've got a process that makes it a lot easier. And it's like training the mind. So the mind is able to learn to think differently. Yeah, that is a difficult one, isn't it? Because I think we've all been through times in our life when with things aren't going right or we're anxious about something or we're depressed about something and it is really difficult to change your mindset even though mm. you know that you mm. can yeah. and if you can do it and and make it consistent that you will feel yeah. so much better yeah it, it is training the mind literally mm. another book that i've got is called ultimate energy and that's a holistic book that helps you look at why you might not be why you might be fatigued all the time and how you can raise your energy so that you move from tired Uh, to inspired Uh, so i'm really proud of that book yes that sounds great where do you find the time to write all these books that's i think this is my purpose because people say how do you do it all and i think when you're living life on purpose when you're doing what you're here for it flows much more easily uh, so I am very efficient as well, but I, it, it, it just feels like things want to be written, so I just write them. <laughs> I think that's amazing. Thank so you. if people want to get hold of your books and your um, CDs and things and also contact you about some of your programs, where can they go to? Uh, so my website is www.yourempoweredself.co.uk. My telephone number is 0345 130 
And they can purchase the books and CDs from the website as well? Yes, yeah, and there's loads of CDs, yeah, and and other books. So there's quite a lot there, all to do with helping people to achieve positive change in their lives. Fantastic. Tricia, thank you so much for coming in today. I'm just going to repeat the number and the website for you. It's 0345 130 And the website is yourempoweredself.co.uk. So have a look at that and um, find out a little bit more about Tricia. And um, Tricia, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us today. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Radio